Oh. Hello, my friends of Hatari Labs. My name is Saul Montoya. Please have a nice day. What we are going to do is a new tutorial about how to install do, uh, Web Open Draw Map in Windows with Docker. Okay, so um, we have a tutorial about installing Docker. Yeah. And why do we use Docker? Because like many of you have an uh, operating system in Windows, you work in Windows, so in order to install Web of DM or another like open form, you need a virtualizer. <clears throat> That's why you use Docker. Uh, this is a handful tutorial about how to use Docker, and then you can install on your computer in Windows. So we have already done that, and then we are what we are going to do is we are going to start Docker on our computer, Docker Quick Start Terminal. Okay, great. And what appears here is the whale, the whale of Docker. That is not the blue whale; it's just the whale of Docker. Okay. After this. What we are going to do is to, we go to, uh, we go to the, well, we can insert this, these commands, we, you will have in the description of this. It's just go to git clone, yes, control C. And here, paste it, control V. Okay. And uh, here I what what I say less. Okay, if I put it here, it will be. Uh, I would rather recommend to use it on CD documents. Yeah. Okay, and then because here it will up, um, here it will it will insert all my documents. So here is where my documents are. Okay. So I paste the commands here. Please know that I have used some some um, um, Unix commands like ls that is similar as dir. Okay, so this ls is a similar as dir, and then I see all of this, and then I find my documents is here, and then if you put cd documents, actually what you will go is to this my documents directory of Windows. Okay, so I will start web ODM on my on my director. Okay. Um, from my user experience on using Docker, actually Docker only allows you to have 10 gigabytes of space. So it creates a virtual machine with the only 10 gigabytes. And maybe this is enough to run web ODM, but it's not enough to run like, uh, like, another like open form or Paraview or something like that. So I will recommend that if you work with Docker, uh, with Web ODM, like you should be aware that you only have a virtual machine of just 10 gigabytes. Okay, I I try to work in a solution in order to, to this virtual, the size of the, of the this virtual machine but I, it, it is not clear so far. So, um, yeah, I, I just recommend that you do use just one container on your token installation, okay? So we, we are waiting, and this, I mean, the total installation on this, it might be, like I guess is around uh, two gigabytes, something like that. So I'm not going to to let you. I mean, I don't want you to make company with me around for around forty minutes or maybe that. Just wait. I will just I will stop this video, but after this, and then we. I will jump to the other videos of, I will jump to, 
let's try let's wait till, till this is finished and then i will jump till i am in another part of the installation and installation and to run web odm okay cool great okay so see you in the next video